To first alert weather now, a new video of Hurricane Hillary closing in on California. This video was taken this morning from a suburb in San Diego showing lightning coming from Hillary's outer bands. It went on for about an hour straight. That's an incredible video there, and I know everyone down in SoCal right now is just wondering, is this going to make landfall? Is it going to is it going to hit us? Is it going to be a little bit south of us? What's what are you seeing out there? Yeah, well, the track of it right now, it is moving northward, but I mean, as for landfall, that is still up to how the track changes here in the next couple of hours and even heading into early tomorrow morning. Here's a look what we're watching right now. Satellite and radar showing very busy, especially as you get closer to Southern California. You can see all the heavy rain starting to move inland right now. Now, we'll continue to pick up even more of that late tonight into early tomorrow. But as we get closer to home, we are picking up moisture too, mainly across our higher elevations right now in the form of scattered thunderstorms. A bit further to the west, we do have a flash flood warning right now across portions of Shasta and Tehama counties. That'll continue until 9 o'clock this evening with any thunderstorms that develop gusty winds, heavy rain, and even small hail are a possibility. But of course, the big story that we are tracking, of course, is Hurricane Hillary right now, a Category 2 storm. As it moved away from warmer waters, it has started to weaken a bit more, and that trend will continue over the next couple of days, but still going to pack a punch, especially bringing heavy rain and also strong winds over the next couple of days. It is expected to make landfall tonight, early tomorrow morning. It just depends on how the track changes over the next couple of hours. But as for threats, here's a look what we're watching right now. Tropical storm warning still exists from Los Angeles down to San Diego and into Palm Springs. That hasn't been seen before, so definitely something that we're keeping an eye on associated with heavy rain. We do have the flash flooding potential too. that increases tonight, especially as more moisture starts to funnel in from Palm Springs down to Yuma. That's going to be the highest category, but that increases even more heading into tomorrow from Death Valley through Palm Springs. That's the high category that they'll fall in. And as for Los Angeles down to San Diego, also the potential for flash flooding too. But then flooding increases even more, especially as we head into Monday and spreads upwards towards Northern California and we'll have the chance of also seeing some flooding around here as we track this over the next couple of hours and days. Here's a look what we're watching, so it'll start to move inland starting tonight and into early tomorrow morning. The bulk of it going to hit Southern California tomorrow afternoon. That's when we'll see the heaviest amounts of rain, especially across portions of Los Angeles. That'll continue to move even further north, especially heading into tomorrow evening. We'll start to pull in some heavier showers, especially tomorrow and into early Monday across portions of the Sierra and then some wraparound moisture will occur into Monday morning, and that's when we'll have our best chance of picking up any moisture across the Sacramento Valley. So heads up, we will be picking up some moisture. It just may become a little bit lighter because the track of the storm is moving off to the east, but flooding potential still exists. We do have flood uh, warnings issued all the way up into uh, portions of Nevada, so definitely something we're keeping an eye on flood watches too. temperatures right now in the 90s and 80s. Tonight will drop down into the 60s heading into tomorrow with more moisture funneling in clouds will start to increase and we'll start to feel a bit cooler around here dropping by a few degrees but still holding on to 90s across the valley looking out towards the next couple of days Monday going to be our best chance of picking up any moisture across the Sacramento Valley things start to dry out a bit more by Tuesday but overall it's going to be an active couple of days Brady